Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'll be fine. This is Cambridge Primary Mathematics, Learners Book 6. And today we are going to start with chapter number 1, exercise 1.1, which is related to place value. We have already done with these type of questions in grade 5 a lot of times. So this won't be a, a difficult task for you to solve these type of questions. So let's just start with this question. Whenever the question says, what is the value of the digit 7 in these numbers? So first of all, let us understand that what does value and what does digit means, okay? So you can see this is a number 6703.46. Six. In this number, we have one two three four five six digits okay so the numbers in an individual capacity in a number all the numbers are called its digits so we have six digits in all whenever you see this point over here it means the sort of a number has two different parts the part before the decimal point is called integral part it is the integer and the part after the decimal point is called its decimal part okay so these are some of the important things that we have to discuss then in this number every digit has its own value and you people have learned if i talk about this 6703 so we know that the last digit the last digit that is the digit just before the decimal is unit okay i'm writing out the places of these digits it has unit place 0 has tens place 7 has hundreds place and 6 has a thousands place okay so these are some of the things that we are already done with so if i uh, need to call out this number it would be 6700 0 tens and 3 so these are the values of the numbers the value of 6 is 6000 the value of 100, uh, 7 is 700. The value of 0 is 0. Wherever 0 comes, it has the value 0. And the value of 3 is 3. Because its unit, it, it won't have any sort of 0 with it. Okay. So these are the values of the 6 digits. Then comes the decimal part. So if we have a decimal part, always remember that the same sort of places comes over here. But this 4 is 10 it. Okay, here we do not have any units. It starts the first place after the decimal is called 10 it. And the second one calls 100. So the value of 4 would be 4 upon 10 because it is 10 it. So 4 10 it means 4 upon 10 and 600 means 6 upon 100. So you see the value of all these digits over here would be 6700 0 3 plus 4 upon 10 plus 6 upon 100 and we have already learned how to convert this fraction into a decimal so we can write it as 0 0.4 and this one as 0 0.06 so the number as a whole would be 6703 point four six we do not call it as four tenth or ten six uh, hundred but it would be point four six we call every number after the decimal point in an individual capacity now in question number one since we have to find out the value of the digit seven specifically in these numbers so we'll just underline seven over here in each of these numbers and try to figure out that where does it lie so here you can see it's a uh, at the second digit it's the second digit and it's three digits before the decimal point so this is unit 10 100 it means the value of 7 is 700 that's all okay then 213.807 what is the value of 7 over here it's after the decimal point so this is 10th 100 and 1000 so 7 would be 7 upon 1000 and if i convert it into decimal so it becomes 0 0.007 you can write it in both ways that is 7 upon 1000 or 0 0.007 it's up to you then here the decimal uh, the 7 is right after the decimal point that is at 10 it so it would be 7 upon 10 or you can write it as 0 0.7 okay then here you can see it's after the second place so it's 10 it and then 100 so 7 is 
7 upon 100 which is 0 0.07 okay students this is how we have to find out the value of any digit in any number now let's move to question number two now it's a very interesting question it says sonia has these five cards as you can see two four six zero point now what is the smallest number but greater than one that is a number greater than one one but out of these five cards would be the smallest among all that whatever number you are making using these five cards it should be the smallest of all but she can make using all her cards okay since the number should be greater than one so we have to figure out that which of the digits it's greater or equals to one over here it's two okay so whatever number we are going to make must start from two but since the number should be the smallest one so what do we have to do we have to take the decimal point over here and then what are we left with four six and zero so we will take zero first then the four digit and then six so this would be the number that is the smallest among all whatever number you are going to make would be greater than 2.046 why because we have taken the digits in the uh, ascending order sequence and we have taken two as the first digit and even if we are going to make it like this 20.46 then this is 20 way more uh, greater than 2 it's 2.046 and it's 20.46 uh, so the difference between these two numbers is 2.046 here i should add 0 so this is 20.460 and this is 2.046 so this number is the smallest among all and if i place uh, any other digit uh, other than 2 in the first place so the number would be like uh, 0.246 so this number is less than 1 if I write 0.246 okay this number would be the smallest if they wouldn't have given us the condition that the number should be greater than 1 because 0.246 is less than 1 so that uh, uh, integral part should be more than 0 to be greater than 1 we cannot write 0 in the units place to make it greater than 1 so therefore we have uh, taken 0 after 2 not before okay so this is how you have to arrange your digits to make the number according to the given conditions in the question now the next question says find the odd one out that is uh, which does not um, fits in here so 1.234 one two three four thousands one two three four thousands is one two three four upon one thousand so whenever we divide any number by thousand what happens the decimal moves to the backward direction so in one two three four the decimal is over here and since we have three zeros so the decimal will move three places backwards and it comes over here so again this number would be 1.234 so these two are the same then 12.34 12.34 is different the value of this digit is more than 1 and the value of this digit is even more than 12 so they are not the same here the decimal is between 2 and 3 here it is in between 1 and 2 so this is a smaller than this one so this seems to be the odd one out let's see the other two 123.400 is basically 123.4 upon 100 so when i'm going to divide it with 100 hundreds means there is a hundred in the denominator i will cut the two zeros decimal will move two places backwards and it comes over here where the decimal of the first two numbers are that is 1.234 similarly 123 hundredths means 123 upon 100 plus 4000 plus 4 upon 1000 let's solve it out and figure out that is it equals to the first two uh, digits or uh, numbers or not 123 upon 100 is decimal is here so it will move two places backward it, it would be 1.23 okay and 4 upon 1000 means 1 2 3 cuts here 1 2 3 here comes the decimal and since we do not have any more digits so it would be 0. Point 004 and when i'm going to add these two numbers i'm going to get the same answer that is 1.23 because whenever we uh, add two 
numbers we having decimals so it's very important to keep the decimal below decimal so it would be 1.23 plus 0.004 this is how we are going to add two numbers having decimals so it would be 044 3 plus 03 2 plus 02 point 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 1 plus 1 so again this is equals to 1.234 so it means this one is the odd one out open up page number 14 let's do question number 4 it says add these numbers together and write the total number in words and digits so let's do it on a piece of paper to make it more clear here we are provided with different sort of numbers we just have to jumbled up we just have to add them up and figure out that what number is it okay so i'm going to tell you two to three methods whatever method you find easy you can go for it we can use the vertical method to solve this so we are going to write two over here since there is no decimal point i'm going to add a decimal over here and let me write down two to three zeros over here since i have the uh, largest decimal place of three decimal places so i'm adding three zeros over here then we have 0 0.1 so let me write it 0 0.1 point below point 0 0.1 let us add two more zeros over here 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 let's add one zero over here and 0 0.009 so 0 0.009 so what do you notice over here you can see that all the decimals are in one place and wherever there was a, a missing digit in decimal so i just added a zero over here okay to make all the decimal places equal to each other that is in all these numbers we have three decimal places three digits after the decimals now we are going to add them zero 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 nine here we have only a three here one and then two so the number would be two point one three nine this is the first method we can use the second method is to write down them in fraction form zero point one is one upon ten plus zero point zero three is one uh, three upon hundred and then it's 0 0.03 now two decimal places to two zeros one decimal place to one zero plus three decimal places to thousand it means this is a unit this is tenet this is hundred and this is thousand now we know how to write down this number there is a decimal between unit and tenet so the number would be and the sequence is exactly what we apply so unit tenet hundred thousand would be two point one three nine that's all even without using this method we can solve it okay now let's do the second one part b minus nine hundred minus nine minus zero point nine minus zero point zero zero nine all of these numbers are negative it means we can add them up so the value of 900 is 100 9 is units there is a tens missing if the tens is missing that it means a 10 is a zero add it over here 0 0.9 is tenth 0 0.009 is ha it's not hundredth it's thousand it means hundredth is also missing so we can write it as hundred I'm going to write nine Achha. what you can do over here one more thing since we have three digits before decimal place hundred ten unit and three decimal places after the decimal place so it, uh, let's write it down over here ten it hundred and thousand okay now in place of hundred comes nine the first digit of each of these numbers then uh, there is no digit at tens place so I'm going to write a zero then in units place I'm going to write nine then comes tenth. So tenth is 0 0.9 means 0 0.9. Hundredth is again 0. We do not have any digit with hundredth value. And then tenth is 9, 0 0.009. So I'm going to write 9 over here. And if you find this method difficult, you can go for the second method that we have already done 900. Since we have to add all these numbers, achha, remember that this number would be negative in nature because there are all the negative numbers getting added to each other. Now 900 let's add a point over here to add the remaining digits with it so 900.00 let's add two decimal places or you can add three decimal places because the largest number has three decimal places sorry the smallest one then we have nine so let me write nine below zero nine point zero 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 then we have zero point nine so i'm going to write it zero point nine 
then 0 0.009 0 0.009 you will find that all the decimals are in a single line over here so we can add them up it would be 9 0 9.909 the same answer we are getting that is minus 909.909 that is 909.909 okay so this is how we can solve it or you can use the third method that is this is 900 plus 9 I'm, I'm writing it in plus so that it would be easy for you just have to add a minus sign over here then 0 0.9 is 9 upon 10 then 0 0.009 is 9 upon 1000 so what uh, digits do we have 909 so we cannot write it as 99 instead we have to write it as 909 then 9 10 10th and 9000 there is a 9 uh, hundreds missing so we are going to add a zero in place of hundred and it becomes 909 okay let's do the next part 20 plus 5 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.001 this is tens this is units this is tenet this is hundred and this is thousand so all the numbers are in a sequence so just let's just uh, arrange them in order 25 comes a point over here between unit and tenet 0.431 that's all because tens units tenth hundred and uh, ten, uh, thousand are all in the sequence over here so we are just going to arrange the numbers as it is then the last part is again a, a negative number minus 3 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.08 minus 0 0.001 this is unit this is ten net decimal comes over here then this is hundred and then this is thousand okay so this would be again in the sequence there's no digit missing out there so it would be minus 3.481 that's all if let's say 100 was missing then i'm going to add a zero in place of 100 if 10th uh, was missing i'm going to add a zero in place of 10 whatever digit would be missing in between these four i'm going to add a zero in place of it right so we have completed till question number four inshallah in the next video we are going to start with the next questions until then take care uh, Allah Hafiz.